Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of Media Pulse version 9. In the next few minutes, we will go over some of the major changes to this version. One of our goals with this version was to update the user interface for a faster, cleaner, and more modern look. As you can see, we have updated the user login screen. Let's log in and see the other changes. First, let's take a look at the navigator. The navigator can now quickly expand and collapse. Simply hover over the navigator icon to expand, then move your mouse off the navigator and it will collapse automatically. To lock the navigator's location, click on the icon and it will stay in place. To unlock, click the icon once more. We have removed the navigator icons with the exception of favorites. The favorite icons indicate documents, schedule view, chart, or report. It is easy to delete a favorite or a dashboard. Simply hover over the item and the trash can icon will appear to the right. You can see we changed the location of settings and logout icons. We also added the user greeting just below. Hover your mouse over the settings icon to expose a drop-down window, giving you access to several user setting options. We added the dashboard options menu and full screen feature to this menu. Let's take a look at the options selection. Within the options window, you can choose the division, the time zone, as well as the maximum number of rows displayed in a search. You can change the list display style and card display style to show more or less rows or fields at a time. Another change to the version 9 is the addition of title splash to both maintenance and search documents. For example, on the job search list, the title splash displays the document name and the number of records found if there are more than one page. If you look at the search list column headers, you will see the icon for the column settings dropdown has been removed. To access column settings in version 9, right click on the column header. We have also improved entering data on grids. Simply click and drag to fill the desired data. If we open a job, you can see the title splash displays the job number and name. On the Work Orders tab, we can see the billing and scheduling grids. We have also added the ability to click on charts to view the data. Also in this version, we have updated the look of our bid and invoice forms. These are just a few of the major updates to Media Pulse version 9. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at